My message today is that it's time to put social responsibility in front of making a profit. Uh, I was just fucking with you. Okay, let's take a big break. <laughs> now that everybody's awake, I'm just going to make a few comments and then join in the discussion with Dade Hayes. We'll be out of here before the bars open, I promise. I do want to briefly speak about a subject we all agree on. It's, it's a, a right that's at the essence of what you do. It's also a right that has come under threat from the very people we depend on to protect it. I'm speaking of the First Amendment guarantee of a free press. The First Amendment... The First Amendment is my favorite amendment, and not just because I stopped reading the amendments after the wild, wildly misinterpreted Second Amendment. So don't get me started on that. We're the NAB. I'll save that rant for the NRA. I admire the, NIB, the NAB for petitioning Congress to protect the rights of journalists, but, it isn't, but isn't it odd that we still need to do this? I thought it was settled 227 years ago when the Bill of Rights was ratified. What's become of my favorite amendment since then? Today it's difficult for the First Amendment to protect, to protect journalists when the President calls the news media enemies of the people and disgusting and labels any criticism or inconvenient facts as fake news. Today, there are forces weaponizing the First Amendment to give unlimited campaign financing to corporations to protect false and misleading advertising and to promote bad science for political ends. Today, even journalists' lives are in danger. The week before last, a Washington Post <coughs> columnist was brutally murdered in the Saudi embassy, while our government insists on continuing to sell them billions of dollars in arms. These are the plots of bad movies, and I should know I've made my share of bad movies. But a bad movie is out of the theaters in a week. Bad government doesn't go away. It metastasizes. A free press helps keep us honest by reporting on the facts. That's why the Founding Fathers thought it important enough to put it right there at the top before right to a trial and before cruel and unusual punishment. But when our government disparages facts and demonizes the media, the result literally is getting away with murder. These truths used to be self-evident, but not, not so much now. Truth, facts, reality have become political tools to be used for political purposes. Tip O'Neill famously said, all politics is local. I agree, up to a point. Conditions today demand to also have representation and strength on a national basis, and that's where the NAB comes in. I'm very happy to be with you today. And now I'm going to be joined by author, journalist, editor, Dade Hayes, who will quiz me on the NAB's 115th Congress Broadcasters Policy Agenda and other fun subjects. <laughs> Dade Hayes.